Within my first year, the Music LLC helped me succeed by starting me out with that core group of friends that have that same interest of in music that I do. The LLC introduced me to some new people that didn't play the same instrument as me, so we didn't have some, we didn't have that one common interest I always rely on, a sort of uh, foundation of friendship. It's really easy to get a hold of someone that is in the class you're in that you maybe you need help with because they're going through the same class as I am. My roommate probably has the assignment or my neighbor will have the assignment so it's just made the chance of disaster less because there's a lot of people in a close vicinity. And I've got like 50 people, not 50 but like 15 people <laughs> being like hey this is how you do it or hey maybe you can come sit down with me and I'll talk it out with you and it's really nice not being so isolated. They feel the exact same way you do, so it's really good to help like calm you down if you feel really stressed or you do that for another person, because we all know it's all, it's all the same. We always get together and we all have the same classes, so we all have the same homework. It was like an automatic friend group. It was really nice to also have them because we got to study together, which was really good. Besides like helping with homework and, and doing some of those logistics things with, with being on your own and living on your own, um, the LC has really helped me develop like musically. Talk about music all the time, whether that's sitting in the study room talking about our favorite marching band shows or practicing together, keeping each other accountable. Um, we really do all those things that help me grow as a musician, but then also just getting that social experience and growing as a person. I think it's been just a massive part of being successful is having a group of 20 people who I can always say hi to, who I can always ask about homework or, or go practice with or, or do any of those things um, that are essential to college, but also essential to being a music major. biggest thing about the transition was just being around like like friends and, and people you go to class with and school with all the time. Coming to here I'd never really been surrounded by people who were as passionate about music as I was um, and being in that environment and being able to like share those experiences really helped me transition into a culture that I wasn't like super used to. I, I was really worried like like everyone is of course that it'll be different and you'll feel isolated or alone but I think the LLC completely like eliminated any of those fears and it, it felt like I was doing high school but living with my friends. It definitely put me into situations I wasn't used to. It got me out of my box almost a little bit. I'm not a very social person. I wasn't a very social person. And so coming in and there's all these people that I'm expected to interact with and work with, it was very different and I had to learn kind of how to talk to people. And then it also just helped me grow as a musician, gave me opportunities to work with other musicians and kind of learn things that maybe I didn't even think about. And it also helped me uh prepare for some of the daunting events that a lot of first semester freshmen have. For example, juries. Okay, so juries are like performances at the end of a semester and you have to perform in front of um, all the faculty in your department. The LLC definitely helped with juries because we got to do a mock jury. Um, and so we had to, we got to play in front of everyone that kind of helped get everyone's nerves out. And then by the time we actually did juries, it was like a second performance, which was nice. You're going to be playing in front of, like I said, three professors, which is a lot more scary than playing in front of, per se, your friends. Yet if you can create the same effect you would before it happens, multiple times play for as many people as you can and really be comfortable so that you, when you stand in front of them, you're not scared of them and most importantly, you're not scared of your music. you really want to interact with your professors and build relationships with them, it can help with recommendations, uh, projects, but also they can just help you with day-to-day -day things like having trouble with a note, they can sit down and help you with it. They're there to help you. Okay, pass it over. Thank you, folks. Favorite memory? Um, probably like just playing cards in the study room until like 2 a.m. <laughs> It's a big time commitment, but um, the whole marching band, you're just friends with so many people there that it doesn't feel like a time commitment. Don't be timid. Like, it is a very scary transition, and you're going to be nervous, and things are going to go wrong. But the more that you just get out there and do things and talk to people and make friends, the, the bigger your network's going to grow, and you're going to have more fun. Do not be scared to do something bold. Keep an open mind, meet everyone that you can. It, it's nice to like keep your door open the first couple weeks of school, get to know your professors. It helps if you have a personal relationship with them and they can really help you out. 
get rid of your ego almost. If you're coming to a university for music, you're either a big fish in a small pond or a mediocre fish in a big pond. Just being able to get rid of that ego and just realize that you have a lot of work to do and you have to put in the time for that work. And you just can't let your ego get in the way of that work that has to be done. So sheet music is obviously really important. And uh, having a lot of it like this, it can be a hassle. Having good storage is great. Being organized is really useful because you never know when you're gonna need something. Make the most out of all the things that you're in. Make an effort to be friends with the people in the LLC because it's gonna help you in the future. And it's always better to make friends in the beginning because then once you have them, you can kind of branch out and do what you want. Definitely just, just pour your heart and to the people around you in the LLC and really make a, a concerted effort to make those connections and it'll pay off in the long term.